author Mitch Garcia reveals four categories within what he calls the situation snapshot. From his new book, Ben Herence, Music Programs a Stick, Mitch Garcia describes the situation snapshot. I'm an account manager, and I go around to a lot of different schools and school districts, and I'm in and out of uh, different band rooms, music rooms, and I speak and talk to a lot of music educators. And, you know, part of my job is to find solutions to their problems, to find the right product for the right person, for the right situation. And, you know, a lot of times, a lot of things that I was hearing music educators talk about, you know, there really isn't a product out there uh, to meet those needs. And I thought, you know, I also teach marketing in college. And I th thought, you know, there's a lot of marketing concepts, a lot of business strategies that could be used very easily within the four walls of a music room. And so that's when I thought, you know, I'm going to put together some of these environmental scanning strategies and whittle them down to four main strategies or four main concepts that music teachers can use from day in and day out within their own environments. And so that's what I did. I came up with what's called the Situation Snapshot. One of the categories within the Situation Snapshot is what's called competencies. That's anything within arm's reach of the music educator to include themselves, what their background is, what musical instruments they play, how they were educated, their culture, what kind of music they listen to, what kind of music have they played, and things like that, along with available capital, like real assets, anything like the library and instruments that they have uh, within their department and anything that they can get their hands on, along with personnel, what kind of volunteers do they have, what does their administrators look like, and then also finances. What are their budgets look like? How can they do some fundraising? What's out there for them? So operating within the competencies and thinking through what can fit within this category, within the music educator's arm's reach that they could use at their disposal at any given time. Another category within the situation snapshot is the target audience. And that is your students and your parents. A lot of times educators and administrators like to throw out into the world the common term socioeconomics when it comes to a target audience. The target audience is way more than that. And I have identified five different segments of that target audience that has equal weight in making decisions and buy-ins into your program. A third category to the situation snapshot is opportunities. Now, everybody has an opinion of what you should do next or the things, the activities that a program should do. But having a filter, making certain priorities like uniqueness and importance is a great way to fill in an identity for your program so that it creates value for its parents and for the students. And then finally, one last category is available substitutes. You know, competitors are seldom what we think they are. A lot of times there are things that take up time or money for the parents or the, the student that that's pretty much unexpected. And those things that they spend money on are substituted for time that they could be spending in your program and performing or rehearsing. And so we take a deep dive into these little touch points that uh, the parents have to filter their decision making process in order to uh, make a decision whether or not to maybe even participate. And so taking a look at all of these different touch points can reveal substitutes you may have never even thought of. The revolutionary new book written by Mitch Garcia called Van Heeren's Music Programs That Stick is a book that's all about marketing concepts 
that music educators can use to reveal a music program's identity through analyzing their situation through the situation snapshot that leads to an action framework so that music educators can create an indispensable music program. This book is available in December on Amazon.